Hey y'all, welcome back to Knitting in Our Jeans. I'm Liz. I'm Carolyn. And you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry, if it's still safe for you, um, as to Liz for you, T-O-O-L-I-Z-Z-F-O-R-Y-O-U. And I'm C-P-R-E-D-M-O-R -E on Ravelry and posting periodically as Knitting in Our Jeans on Instagram. I started off with February. I did too. I and then it got to the point of the tell people what you made last year and I ha I don't have all those pictures so I would have to go and do the pictures and it just got a bit much my stomach you got can, upset well, you whatever can pick I it can back up pick it back up we didn't record last week because we had an epic snowfall yes. here and Elizabeth normally has her car in a garage so that since we were dug out on Sunday she would normally just zip on over and come see us but a friend of hers stayed with her that weekend, and her car was in the garage because she had to get back to where she belongs during the week. And Elizabeth had to wait for her car to kind of melt out some. Yeah. So we couldn't record. So we're here this week. Who knows where we're going to be next week? But we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll do our as, best. <laughs> as we said, we're going to keep you apprised, right. and we'll, you know... If, it, if we know we're going to be away for multiple weeks at a time, we'll let you know. But as of right now... It's looking maybe every other week right yeah. now is what we can handle. Um, my mom has a doctor's appointment tomorrow that my brother's taking her to. And we'll get an update tomorrow. Yeah. So we're not really sure. Um, and there's a boat I want to go see in Florida. You know. Little things. Little things. Um, so yeah. So I also have been doing February. I missed two days, I think, this week. Um, which, you know what? I'm deciding to show myself some grace and uh, just... Picking up on days that I can, um, or that I remember, or that I have the bandwidth for. I also didn't post for what I made last year. Um, I think that's also because I feel a bit disappointed in myself for how much I did not knit last year. Really? I knit less than 20 things last year, I think. Really? I did not finish many things last year, it looks like. Really? Yeah. As per my Ravelry, yeah. My Ravelry is, is, is not worth a darn. I know, because, because you I, don't update it. I don't update it. And, like, I finished the Kohana. It's not there. Um, I finished uh, the Symmetry. It's not there. I mean, I know there's sweaters I finished in war already, mm -hmm. and they're not there. Ah. Uh, so, so, that's that. That's why um, I'm saying that. Pictures need to be taken. Yeah. But Saturday was not a good day for me. My stomach is... My my antihypertensive drug is upsetting my stomach oh. some some days. So I had the Olympics on on the app on my iPad and fell asleep in the bed. <laughs> Always, so I slept most of the day. It, it happens. It happens. Um, you know my my blood pressure is going in the right direction, so that's good. That is good. That is good. I'm also under the doctor's orders to lose weight. So okay. I said, all right. I guess we'll finally lose it. It really up until this point, I got patted on the head and said, "Well, you're fat, but you're fine." Mm -hmm. Now I'm not fine. Oh, so I got to lose weight. So we'll do it. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yes. Yeah, so other than that, we had the snowstorm. Um, mega snowstorm. Mega we had snow. 15 inches. I think we had like eight to 12 in the city. Oh, did um, I tell you, Leah uh, no. called me? Oh, really? Yes. Yes. A friend of ours. Well, a former student of mine. Is mm -hmm. a acquaintance of ours, a yes. friend of ours, a friend of ours, who works for a friend of ours. Yes. Yes. Who said during the conversation, oh, say hi to her. So hi back and forth. And um, she was feeling a little unfulfilled at her job. Valid. And I said, well, you know, before you quit to do, to and just like go, what do I want? Figure out your side hustle. Whatever you want to do as an alternative, let's do it as a side hustle first. Yeah. And he says, well, I said, so what interests you? What would you be interested in? And, and she says, well, I really like the environment. I said, sweetie, I like the environment too. Clean air, clean water. Let, let, can we get a little focus here? <laughs> so in order to do a side hustle, you need a focus. And in, before you quit your job, you need a focus. So mm -hmm. I'm really glad she called me. So that I can explain to her that she needed a little focus. <laughs> and um, so I think we got a little more focus. Good. I had a couple suggestions about how she could determine the size of interest in the market. And she said she'd call me back. Okay. Uh, after a little while. And I said, fine. That's fine. <laughs> 
Look at me. Do I look like I have a problem talking to people? <laughs> no. No. I'm going gonna, I'm so, gonna to let you in on a secret. No. no. I'm happy to talk to people. So it was very nice to hear from her. Yeah, so that was, that's that was nice. very nice. Yes. So um, what else? Well, I was just going to say that you're going to come and see my project this week. Yes. Yes. Very excited about that. So and I'm glad we're going to go before lunch. Yes. So if I have any tummy rumbles, we'll be fine. Yes. Yes. We also we have multiple her. bathrooms in the building. The building. And we're going to meet her boss. Yes. Who wants to say, how did she get like this? <laughs> Which so. is very funny because I think my boss has finally realized that when I get, like, when I start asking for a lot of details and I start going down that, like, detail, very specific rabbit hole, it is me collecting data, not me freaking out. Me freaking out is calling him crying. Right, that's um, freaking out. But he hasn't realized that yet because he is a very even-keeled human. Like, a very even-keeled human. So, any sort of excitement to him is, like... Overwrought. Uh, uh, yes. So, it's... We're, we're, we're learning. We're, we're both learning. Um, but it's just very funny because um, he had made... We had heard something about another I thing. I this is on my Ravelry. And no, I made I don't it know. last year. So, um, but yeah, so, you know, that'll be exciting. It so that's be exciting. So you might see that on the Instagram. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I have not done that much knitting, but I have finished things. Well, I think I ought to talk about the fact I felt it. You did. It looks so good. And I love it. This is my alpaca, the baby alpaca that I got from String, String Thing. Thing. Right. Um, and Richie would look at it and say, you know, there's a hole in it. And it was where there was a wrap and turn in mm -hmm. order to do... I think it's it the crazy stripe sweater, crazy, right? Yes. And I, I love the way it was written, but the baby alpaca in some places was so thin that when you did the wrap and turn, it showed as a hole, mm -hmm. even though I had picked it up as one. So I... I slightly velvet it. I yeah. like it. It gives it kind of a boucle look. Yeah. And it now has a little bit more body. So mm -hmm. I'm glad I made it as big as I did. Mm-hmm. Um, and funny, it only felt it when I added a little detergent into the water. Mm -hmm. So who knows if that was the important part. But it, I mean, I let me take off my... Your cocoon? My cocoon sweater here, which we've been wearing. So anyway... The sleeves are no longer three-quarter length. They they're are, elbow. They're elbow, which is fine. I'm quite happy with it. Uh -huh. um, and I don't have my husband say, oh, look, there's a hole in it. So. He's so helpful. Yes. So, but yeah, so I finished this week the Atari so by Tannis. Um, I think Lavalier, I think is her name. Um, Tannis. Um, so it's the Atari. This is the... Six to twelve months, or the twelve to eighteen months. I can't really remember which one I did. Um, I did the biggest size I had the yarn for. Mm. Um, so yeah, so this is to go with the zigzag sweater I made. So this is for a sister pair. Um, it's funny because looking at them, they look to be about the same size, but this is bigger. Like if I put this down on well, I would the have table, that one was bigger. Yes, it is. Definitely, Definitely bigger. bigger. Um, but the neckline is smaller, so I'm gonna give it. I'm still gonna gift it. I have already told the mom that if it doesn't fit over the, you know, the one's the, head. if you know, if either of them doesn't fit, send them back, and I will make them. Um, I mean, this took me a week once I but actually got moving. Make the neck bigger. I can always make the neck bigger, but I can also always frog this and make something else. Yeah, for, you could frog the neck. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I realized sitting downstairs, the neck is a, it's a pickup, so I can always just frog it and actually add stitches yeah, there yeah. and make it slightly, like, make it so that it actually and, stands and do, out. Yeah, and do a looser rib. Yeah. Yep. Um, or, I frog, or if it's all the way smaller, I just frog it and make right. a different sweater. I'm just saying if it's um, a head size problem. Yeah. So, I'm going to go downstairs and throw these in the wash before I head out, um, so that I can gift those appropriately this week. Okay. And that'll be done. So then all of my Get baby gifts. obligation, my self-imposed obligation knitting will be completed. Very good. Yeah. So I was trying to finish the artichoke French and some of you may realize that I have dyslexia and I 
I knew that I had to attach the neck to the neck edge stitches and my cocoon works in the same way and I had trouble figuring that out until I sent in a note to one of the two people that actually knitted it one got back to me and said lay it on the floor put your needle at 90 degrees and, and you'll it, see it and you'll see it and I did well this is the same way if you see well so my, I could well, wait, a minute, yeah, wait a minute wait a minute so this is the way it's going around. Well, I, in my problem, I wanted it to go this way. Mm. So it didn't matter which, however I read the instructions, it the back was going to be showing to the front. Mm -hmm. Because it's... Not the direction you knit. This, that's right, right. I was trying to knit it. And I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out by myself. So I called Elizabeth and said, I have a problem. She said, we'll fix it. Well, she called me, and I was like, okay, we'll fix it on Sunday. I'm not, like, I don't think this is something we can fix over the phone. No. So I didn't she, think it was and she was like, okay, but I'm letting you know we need to fix this. And I was like, okay. So I get home. We have some discussions of other things, and then we sit down, and Mom goes, okay. So. And she shows, she goes, and shows me her provisional cast on, and I was like, okay, where's the, the directions? And she goes, okay. On. And so I, I take the direction, and I was like, okay, here's what we're going to do. You're going to put those stitches on the left-hand needle. Bingo! Okay. <laughs> and then I go, and then I'm going to read you the row one and row two, and you're going to do what I say. Okay? <laughs> okay. And we did that, and it worked. You're right. It got um, it situated <laughs> on the neck in the direction that it needed to go and suddenly the right side is facing the right side and that's all I needed. Yeah. Uh, because now I can know the pattern from scratch so I can do it while I'm just sitting here talking. In fact, as I finish mm -hmm. this part of the row, I will pick it up and show you again because you basically, the last stitch next to the neck edge, you slip and then you knit the neck edge and you pass a slip stitch over, which is what anchors this to the sweater mm. so if I don't finish this neck tonight I'll finish it tomorrow and then this sweater will be done you should wear it on Wednesday and we can take photos of us well, we matching could do that. we could do that we could definitely do that so <laughs> dad's gonna be like seriously this this will be done <laughs> nice finally I have not had a good time with this sweater because I don't the directions do not speak to me now for someone who can make a crazy striped sweater mm-hmm it just the, you just didn't melt the, the directions I did not melt is it a nice sweater absolutely otherwise I wouldn't have worked on finishing it but it will be finished we'll wear it on Wednesday we'll drive everybody crazy it'll be great it'll be great it'll be great also because we're you're gonna show up I'm, I'm so excited to see how many people realize that we're wearing the same sweater <laughs> Well, last it'll Friday last so I finished my um, love magic sweater the one with the sleeves and I wore it last Friday to work and everyone was like oh wow those are some epic sleeves and I was like yes I know they took 10 hours each and they were like what uh, you made that I'm like yes I made it it's what I like we build buildings yeah. for a living yeah it's what I, I made did. it um and it was very interesting because we also we did a walk um of my building on Thursday and I got asked how many of the things uh, that I how many of the things are that you are wearing did you not make and I was like well my shoes my pants and my scarf because I had made my sweater I had my jacket on and I had my backpack on what about your socks I think I was wearing hand knit socks that day okay um but I was like it was one of those things where I was like yeah that that's that's just what it is just what it is um but it was very funny because they some of them get it and some of them don't. Oh, well. oh <laughs> So well. I'm very intrigued to see if what they else? realize that. Um, so the only other thing I've been working on is my mystery knit along from 2020. I'm on the third stripe of the border. Very nice. So I am on the fifth of six rows of that third the stripe. Bigger. Yeah. And that's the bigger... The bigger stripe, yeah. So, 
I think it's looking pretty good. It looks great. Um, I'm pretty nice excited. Colors. Yeah, I love the I Much love the better colors. colors. Well, these are these are the colors from last year. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to get this done and then get to working. Okay. So I think I'm gonna work on this. Obviously, now that the baby sweaters are done, I can focus on the test net that I have. Right. Which I have been trying to not. Like, not that I've been trying not to knit on. I've been just trying to finish things that need to things be done. That need to be done. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm excited for the baby sweater to be done so that I can focus on that. Because that, will I think, will go pretty quickly um, because it's brioche and it's yes. really lovely. So that's mm -hmm. exciting. Um, and then I actually frogged something this week. What did you frog? I frogged the sweater that I test knit last year. That um, I was working on when the Katie passed. Thin? No. No. Um, it was, I think, it was Corrado's test. Yes. It was the one I was working on around when Katie passed. So I decided that there was not super great juju around it and mm -hmm. that maybe frogging it was the, was best, the best idea. idea. Um, because whenever I looked at it I, I or thought about picking it up, I thought about all of that and I just don't think I need that. Right. Um, so I think, I think that was probably the healthiest choice there. Sure. sure. Um, so I want, I, I do want to do that. And then I have a te a, a, an experiment that I okay. want to do. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to see if I want to do that next. I haven't fully decided what my next like cast on is going to be, but I have a few options. So we'll see. We'll see what catches my fancy this week. Okay. Um, because I have a feeling that we're gonna, we're gonna keep needing to keep moving. So it's mm -hmm. gonna be. Well, I have another sweater. Too. Ooh, I'm so excited. So. And who knows, maybe I'll cast on the other, uh, artichoke French I want to knit. I started work on the mare. Right. You had started that last week, right? Uh, yes. But I went, Woo! Oh, well, the lace just went flying. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. It looks so good. Okay. And the we... sleeves don't look like they're not fuzzy. They, they look appropriately fuzzy. Yes. There's half fuzz on the sleeves. You can't really tell. And there's kind of half fuzz down to about here. Okay. Um, you can sort of tell because of the says color, the but front. not. Um, however... The rest of this, I have so much of the lace left, mm -hmm. it's full fuzz. So nice, and it just went that away. So I have gotten down, I have to do let's see 25 more rows. Okay, so this actually has done some of the waist shaping. So I it and the way it comes down over the girls down to about here. And I decided I was going to have it a little looser rather than to keep doing waist shaping. Okay. Because I wanted to make sure it would fit my hips. Valid. Valid. So I'm just doing straight stockinette for another 25 rows. Do you want to hold it down for me? Yeah. And then it goes into cables. Much like the sleeves. what's on the sleeves. Oh, very cool. That's not so, ribbing. That's cables. That's cables. Oh, wow. And I'm not going to have the um, mohair, in, mohair the in the cables. Okay. Uh, at my hips, I don't. I don't need fuzzy hips. <laughs> I just don't. And I like the way this looks on the sleeve. Mm -hmm. I like that change in texture. So I will, when I get down to starting the cables for the hips, which is actually the hip expansion, I'm going to stop with the fuzziness and just go okay. with um, the regular yarn nice. from Standard Stranded Dye Works. So. Uh, after after we finish recording, I'll have to go and retrieve that little mohair that went flying under my desk. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. But then... But uh, wait, there's more. Yes. I had... I was trying... I don't know. I was looking at my desktop on my computer, and I realized I had this pattern on my computer. And it's for fingering. And it says, not your average sweater. A venti crossover pullover with textural details on the cuffs and collar. And I'm going, ha, huh, how about if I knit that with 
some of my Ooh, you're fading. Calendars. Ooh. So, yes. So you added some uh, of the babs to the goosey fibers. Yes, I did. That we looked at two and weeks ago. And then this is what I will do in between. Oh. So, whoa, help. So you'll do some rows of the color. Oh, so you're going to hold it all together with that. Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is the coordination to yarn. Pull all of the fade Colors. together. All the fade together from the advent calendars. What I did was I actually stuck them in. You stuck the babs in with the, oh wow. So I have where I want the colors to change. Nice. And then I have this that I could go at the For bottom. For like the cuffs and the collar. Cuffs and collar. I have this. Nice. So I think I have enough. If not, we'll be more. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You know, it'll be a great sweater yeah. for wearing while I'm watching television. It'll be well, it'll just be a great sweater. Yeah. But certainly when you're watching television, and I bring that up because the Olympics is on. Mm -hmm. This is a family that loves the Olympics. We really enjoy watching. I th I think we really just enjoy watching people excel at something they are passionate about and that they excel at. Yes, I think that's absolutely because true. Because we also enjoy, you know... Um, Summer Olympics, Winter well, Olympics. Well, Great British Bake Off. Yes. And, yes. you know... Things that people are passionate about. You're absolutely right. I called my mom last night because there was ice skating on. Yes. I said, Mom, Mom, you got to turn on turn on the television. She goes, why? I said, there's ice skating on. And she says, what channel? I said, NBC. She goes, what channel is that? I said, I have no idea. She's in, in outside of D.C. I'm outside of New York. I don't know what the channel is. Two different cable companies. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, uh, start at the lowest number you can get and then just channel up from there. It's going mm -hmm. to be before you get to 13. Yeah. So it's not, not going to be that hard. So she found it. Good. And she's very happy. So she's watching the Olympics. She's watching all of the Olympics. Well, yeah. I mean, my grandmother... And grandfather used to watch any ice skating yes. available. So we would watch nationals. We'd watch any World Cup. We'd watch any, like, worlds. We'd, we'd watch everything. Everything. My mom loves to watch ice skating. Yes. Yes. And when, when the kids, when us grandkids got into swimming, that's when she started watching, watching swimming. Summer Olympics and the swimming right. and stuff. Right. Yeah. Right. So... She is avidly watching the Olympics now, so oh, that's God. great. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, she's doing okay. She was a little breathy today, so we'll see what the doctor says tomorrow. Okay. But we'll see. We'll yeah. see. So she's doing pretty well. Good. Oh, so I mentioned she had a doctor's appointment. She said, well, I guess I better get dressed. I said, yeah, I guess you better. <laughs> anyway, my brother will take her. It'll be fine. It will be fine. That's right. So I expect to finish two sweaters this week. I... My artichoke French should be finished tonight, if not tomorrow. Olympics are on 24 hours. Yeah. It's so great. You're ridiculous. <laughs> well, I don't sleep that much, so I can I know. stay up and I can watch the Olympics. Um, what I'm not good at is changes in patterns mm. when it's really late. So by 1 o'clock in the morning... I may be reading a book and watching I'm the gonna, Olympics. Or, or, right it's, or it's a set of sock, stockinette socks. Yes. yes. That might be what I cast on next because I, I need... Well, I have this. I've got to work on I've some got socks. These two canvas bags behind me. My um, my socks keep on like just disappearing. I don't know where all my socks have gone. They're probably just in my apartment somewhere. But You want to have some of mine? I can't make any more socks because I have so many socks. <laughs> I mean, I'll take socks. Yeah, you can go through the drawer and take okay. some socks because I have no room in the sock drawer for oh, socks. I sure. Okay. That okay. was easy. Very easy. Um, but yeah, so I think In fact the skew sock my my skew socks may fit you better than they fit me since mine are a little long. Okay. So all right, well, we'll check that out. Yeah. Um, so with that, I think it's time to weave in some ends. Weave in some ends, go watch the Olympics. Yeah. It's a short episode this week because we got, or we, we did a lot of things, we but. I made great progress on that sweater. but And the, the rows on this MCAL just are. Take forever. 
Yeah. So, but I have been, instead of doing a little bit of different things, so one thing one day, one thing another day, mm-hmm. I've been really focusing on trying to get something done mm-hmm. because I'd like to have fewer bags around my feet down yeah. by the sofa. So Understandable. I brought up the yarn that I had by the sofa for kids' toys because I don't have to make them again until maybe August. Mm-hmm. So I brought that upstairs. Um, I want to finish these two sweaters, then go back to the uh, shawl. shawl. Yeah. Get that really moving forward. That's the beginning of April. Yes. So that needs yeah. to get moving. Um, and then, oh, I started working on a hat. Oh, yes. A fur hat. Well, actually, a sheep hat. Mm-hmm. Um, there is a company here in New York called Fat Scrap. They're also in outside of Philadelphia. And you or can order Philly. online. So yeah. look up Fab Scrap, F A B S C R A P. Dot com mm-hmm. and they have they pick up the leftovers from designers here in New York or wherever they are I guess outside of Philadelphia too I guess in Philly too yeah and they offer up what they have found yardage online and I found a shearling online and it was really so slate gray it's beautiful slate gray and it was really very inexpensive the ones we saw at Rhinebeck were two hundred dollars and this was 55 so you know and it's a leftover that's fine and so I have started mock-ups of a hat um, I have I'm combining two different patterns um, so I, I have done it in a light lining the next thing I'm going to do is in the uh, padded stitch lining, mm. uh, the thin slate that we had for our coats because that will give it some half. That's not the thin slate. That's a different. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. It's quilted lining. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to make up the size pattern I have that I've made up in the quilted lining. See how that fits. I think it's going to be a little loose so I can tighten it up and then I can go in and cut the sheepskin. Mm-hmm. Um, Got to make the pattern for the brim and see how that fits on Mm -hmm. but I'll do that for the quilted lining the uh, the lining lining is a little too flimsy it's it's silk Mm -hmm. um, but it's a it's a light silk and and Mm -hmm. so it has a lot more give than any kind it has a lot of drape it does and therefore it it's not gonna act like the sheepskin will so um, I've got like knitting at a looser gauge right so I'm going to cut that out in the uh, quilted lining and see how that attaches. And then I'll be ready to cut the sheepskin. So maybe by next week I'll have a hat. Oh my goodness. That would be really cool. That would be really yes. cool. Yes. I've been following all the instructions. Um, you know, you have to really watch what the what the pattern has to say. So there is the, when I attach so, the crown to the, the riser... Mm-hmm. Um, it's a quarter inch seam, mm. and I will probably do that by hand, base it by hand. Mm-hmm. I bought some um, waxed thread uh, from Etsy to be able to do some heavy duty basting nice. to keep it in place, and then I can decide whether you know how it goes through the machine. Yeah. So that is that's another thing that I was doing this week rather than just knitting. So mm. that. I'm I'm excited about it. My husband saw first. I made it up in the heavy um, interfacing that I had that I could lay my hands on, and he said, "What are you making a hat for the Olympics so you can sit there with your hat on and and cheer them on?" I went, "What? What? No! I'm making a hat hat." Then he saw it <laughs> in the lining, and he goes, "This is going from bad to worse." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, Dad. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, dear. But I have the lining yeah. now for the hat already made. Yeah. And by doing it up in the quilted lining, then I can decide whether I want to put the quilted lining in mm-hmm. and then the regular lining. Now, why would I do that? Well, I would do that because then I can always replace the flimsy, drapey lining with another lining when it wears through. Mm-hmm. That was my idea. Um and then I'm going to hunt up the leather. I may hunt up the leather that I had for the purse. Mm-hmm. Or I may go out and get some leather um, shoestrings. Okay. So I can tie my hat on. I would get shoestrings. They're going to be stronger. Than the leather. They'll be, they're more 
they're they're like they're meant to be meant like that. to be like that. I may order them. I think you should because that way I can get black ones. Yeah, that's right. All right, so here I'm going to so, go on Amazon. Yeah, we're gonna weave in some ends, and we'll talk to you all sometime soon. That's right. If not next week, hopefully the week after. All right. We'll see. Bye, Bye. y'all.